His name is October in London, and he's about to do some things you never thought that could be done. So enjoy Shot in the Dark in October in London. Yeah, man, that's Snoop Dogg, one of the most recognizable voices, respected entertainers, down-to-earth people, most successful men, consistent individual that you could come across that's the legendary Snoop Dogg. So if Snoop put his stamp on it, you got to take it seriously. For real. <laughs> and when Snoop first put his stamp on this young man, um, I took it seriously. So I did my deep dive. And I'm going to tell you something, citizens. On this show, everybody you know, uh, everybody that comes up here may not be someone you necessarily know, mm -hmm. right? Um, sometimes we like to find those diamonds in the rough or those those people who have been creating foundations for quite some time, in the case of our next guest, at least since 2016, uh, when he put out that Colorblind Love Project, is when he really first introduced himself to the world. And, and you hear this dude's vocals, and, and the vocals remind you of Otis Redding or reminds you of Teddy Pendergrass or, mm -hmm. you know, that soulful, gritty, hot water, cornbread, turkey <laughs> neck. <laughs> In the pot, you with know, the gravy. <laughs> with the gravy, you know, uh -huh. biscuits. You swapping it with the biscuits, you know, <laughs> that kind of soul. And is 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 you don't get a lot of that. You get some. Um, you'll get the the prototype, but you don't you don't always get the genuine authentic authenticity that you get from this man. He has a cool name. I don't know if it's his birth name, <laughs> but it definitely works. I want to welcome him to the show. The one and only October London is hey. here. October hey. London. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate being here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I will wait for you. <laughs> That's my joint. That's my joint, man. How I sound? Hey, sound good. Okay, thank you, bro. Part two coming with you. Yeah, you let me. Know? Okay, you got Snoop all over this project. You Might as well have it, you on right? it. Yeah, yeah. Um, man, tell us about yourself. You're from Indiana? Yeah, I'm from South Bend, Indiana. Yeah. Okay, well, how, people, yeah. Uh, uh, so how far is south from? Um, where did Jacksons come up? Uh, Gary. Gary, how far is South Bend uh, from Gary? About forty five minutes. Forty five yeah, minutes. I so. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 so where did your start happen? Uh, start happened actually. Uh, Man. Well, I mean, obviously the the big star started with Snoop, but okay. you know, I've I've always just been around my family doing music stuff like that, and uh, but I started in South Bend, started on Fruity Loop, started making beats, you know, mm -hmm. the production and all wow. that kind of stuff, and then uh, yeah, I just kind of gradually just kept moving and kept moving and kept grinding, and uh, yeah, end up meeting Snoop. You know? mm. Nah, you skipped a whole lot. Right. Skipped a whole lot. Hell, you like, went from Fruity I'm Loops like, to I'm Snoop. Like, how do I, you know, put it, I mean, <laughs> well, tell your story, brother. Okay, That's okay. why you're here. Well, so yeah. you you went to Fruity Loops. So you're doing that in your bedroom. Yeah, doing obviously, that in the bedroom, you're not yeah. in a professional studio. No, 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 no. I'm all. in the dining room of you, my boy's house. Okay, with headphones with on. With headphones on. Making yeah. beats on a laptop. Making beats, making beats. I started oh. writing a little bit and all that. And I, I was trash at that. I couldn't write for for nothing. Okay. I was I was real trash at that. So I gave that up. Went back to producing. Started producing for you know artists that were coming up in south bend and stuff like that started doing that and uh who are those artists like who did you think was great man it was so many artists uh man i, I don't i don't know they're not even around anymore to be honest well they, they? they stopped there oh they stopped okay they, they either stopped or they're they're no longer on on earth anymore you know those artists they kind of mm. got stuck in different positions whether it was you know selling drugs or whether it was you know doing the drugs or whatnot so they're all gone mm. so south bend has that kind of environment <sighs> no south bend's pretty clean because it's a college town you know okay. what I'm saying? it's notre dame you know go go irish go notre dame you okay know what I'm okay mm -hmm. you know was music what kept you out of trouble yeah i mean i, I wasn't i wasn't really you i mean, saw what it was doing to other people so i, I just really wasn't into it mm -hmm. i wasn't into doing anything no, i was you know I was chasing women. You know okay, what I'm saying? I was, I was chasing girls trouble. on the block. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I was, I was doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, so what was like the spark to even get into music? Was that something that your family was into? Was yeah. it so you could grab more girls? Like, at first it was because you know, I thought it was just cool. You know, mm -hmm. I, I sang for my grandmother, an audience of one. I sang Michael Bolton when a man loves a woman for my grandmother. <laughs> she, like, she was elated by. It. I was just like, oh. This is cool. Maybe I can make a couple other people. And then family will come over and be like, Jared was singing. You know, my real name's Jared. It's okay. October. So, Jared was singing. Well, let's hear him. So, I'd, I'd do that. And then more people would like it and whatnot. And then, um, you know, my dad plays guitar. My mom could sing. My uncles could sing. All that kind of stuff. So, yeah. And at what time in your life is this happening? Is this high school? Is this post high yeah, school? Yeah. Yeah. This, oh. is, this is around the time. Yeah. This is a little after. Well, that, what I was just talking about, was way before. Okay. Now, I was like eight. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? But then the Fruity Loops part, that was when I was like 15, 16. Got it. Okay. Yeah. What, what was your approach? Um, and this is a really important question, maybe mm -hmm. the most important question you mm -hmm. ever asked. 
Uh, what was your approach uh, when you went to pick up on women? I'm just curious. How did you do it? Uh, <laughs> ooh, it was it was terrible. It's the legendary. I, I right. still I still don't have game. You still you don't know? got game. Nah, man, All you I gotta just... do is say, "I will wait for you, for your <laughs> love, for your love." Yeah, yeah you know. You, you, but after I, you know, start women started coming around or, or girls at that time started coming around. So, oh, you sing? Then I'm like, oh, I just walk up to them and start singing. Boom. Damn. You can't <laughs> lose like that. Listen, so, harmonies. harmonies. So you went October London. Uh, you know, Adrian, by the way, the people that surrounding you are my brothers. So <laughs> we, we, we we live together. We love together. Okay. We fight each other. Okay. We do, we've been through the full gamut. He, he's told me a few stories. Yeah, yeah, he's, when I first went to L.A., Adrian let me sleep at his home. But on the floor, you know what I mean, October. But I, I but I was under the roof. He didn't give me the spare the bedroom or nothing, just the floor. <laughs> but he, between him and Troy Marshall, these are two of the most knowledgeable people you could surround yourself with in this business. Who are yeah. going to be open and fair? I'm, I'm not sure the relations, but they really. That's how I found out about you, right? So how did October London? How did you become October London? I became October London. I had I had several names prior. I called myself because my middle name is Samuel. You uh-huh. find out a lot about me right now. So my middle name is Samuel. So I was going as like Sam Martin because my my mother's maiden name is Martin. I was going by that. I went by Jay Martin because my name's Jared. So okay. I, I switched it up. And right before I met Snoop, I changed my name. I was like, man, I, I don't like the name anymore. Hmm. I'm gonna change it to October because my birthday is October 17th. Okay. And then uh, I I got this uh, TV screen above my my uh, my laptop or my you know my Mac, and pictures of you know certain vibes. I'm a real vibey person, so a picture of London popped up, and I was like, man, October London. And I yelled up to my boy uh, uh, Neil. I was like, hey man, how, what do you think? You think October London sounds good? He was like, yeah. I was like, cool. That's my name now. Damn, just like that. <laughs> that was deep. And, 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 yeah, right, 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 right. So I okay. was like, yeah, that's it. So if you had said no, you wouldn't have stuck with it, you think? I probably would have because I like to go against them all the time. So, okay. Yeah. All right. October London is here. We're going to play another song. But I'm curious. There are a lot of artists who who have been around a snoop mm-hmm. or somebody of that stature yeah. and want to get recognized. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, there's a right and there's definitely wrong ways to approach uh, someone like Snoop, right? right? Yeah. What was your approach to Snoop and, and how did that happen? Yeah. Well, I met Snoop through Jazzy Faye. So a friend of mine. Jazzy Faye, yeah, the, yeah. Legendary the legendary producer Jazzy, Jazzy Faye. Faye. Shout out to Jazzy. Mm-hmm. Um, a friend of mine in South Bend knew somebody that knew of him. And I ended up getting the number. And I was like, hey, Jazzy, I got some records for Two Chains, for T.I., for all these people and all that. And then I kind of slipped in Colorblind. Okay. Colorblind song was already done. Slipped in Colorblind. He was like, okay, I'll check it out. You know, I'm getting on the plane or whatnot. So he got on the plane. I didn't know he was going to see Snoop. He never told me that. Mm. So he went to go see him. And I'm thinking, wow, him and Snoop were in the studio. Snoop was probably rolling up. And he played the record for him. He played other songs, but he played that Colorblind song. And Snoop was like, yo, where is this kid at? And he was like, is he in Indiana? He was like, Indiana? You know, he was like, he's not in L.A.? He's like, no, he's in Indiana. So then he called me uh, a night or two before the Super Bowl uh, in 2016. Damn. And wow. was like, yo, I got to have you here, man. And I was like, cool. So he flew me out March 16, 2016. It was a wrap. That's it, huh? That's it. Is it, is it, was it were you nervous? Like, did you not want to say the wrong thing? Right. Because nah, you could have blew it with your personality. Did you get it, a heads up that yeah. he was calling? I could have, you know, but nah. I, I did get a heads up because, you know, he called me. So I was like, you know, Jazzy never told me. You know, he's just like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you who's going to call you, but, you know, they, they, they're they real big. And I'm like, okay, cool. All right, whatever. Mm-hmm. And he was just down to earth because, you know, Snoop is a Libra too. So we get along. Oh, soon that's as, what you, yeah, yeah? Yeah, as soon as we met, he was, oh, what up, nephew? I'm like, oh, what up, huh? And that was it. We, it was never a, oh, I'm, I'm nervous. I was like, this is, if I get this one shot, I'm from Indiana. I'm an Indiana kid, you know. Let me, mm-hmm. and, and we did it. He played a beat. And I did it just like that. Wow. And he, he was, was like, ready. Oh. Mm-hmm. You Stay were ready. ready. Yeah. Preparation. The, the first song mm-hmm. we did was called Top Down. Top Down. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Man, October London is here, man. We're going to take some phone calls. Wish I had that Top Down ready. I was going to play I Feel Good. Mm-hmm. I want to play that I Feel Good real quick. You know, I already play I Will Wait For You. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, love. I didn't think anybody really was, you know, what? listening to that. No, I listened to all your projects. Yeah. I, I told you, Pocket Change was a song you Crazy. did that you, you cursing on it and everything. You know, I'm different. <laughs> I, I switch genres on people real quick. Yeah, I, people so that we'll, we'll talk about it. This I feel yeah. good. October London eight 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 seven four two three three four five. All right, top down. 
888-742-3345. We got uh, Gray on the line from South Carolina. What up, Gray? What up, Gray? Gray, welcome to the show. How you doing? What's going on? Good morning, family. How y'all doing? What up? Merry I'm Monday. Good. <laughs> <laughs> word, word. Say no negative. In my city, Tim, what's going on, yeah. man? Yeah. You know what's going on? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yes, sir. I'm chilling, family. I'm chilling. Listen, bro. I want to tell you, man, when I heard you on Holland Drive, man, it blew my mind. Thank you, brother. I had, I had no idea. I had to go back to find out where you came from, bro. You dig? I had to go back and dig through the archives, man. You Man, feel me? That's crazy. And, and, and to see and to see where you came from, but I I don't understand how in the world did, did Snoop know the recipe? What? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Do you know who Snoop is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, he the chef, man. He be with Martha. You yeah. know? No, 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 no. I'm talking that was about a good connection, that, though. Nah, come on, give it double that was, Tadra. That was good. Come on, Gray. The Temptations. Word, word. The, come on, think of all the legendary doo wop or soul groups that Snoop has worked with. Think of Snoop's music <laughs> yeah. from the uh, um, yes. from the first projects to now. It's all been rooted in really soulful, melodic sounds, That's true. Mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah so. and Sway he done tapped into a whole different, a whole different world, man. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. With with you, October London, mm-hmm. Mister London. Let me yeah. tell you, bro. You dig, man. You smooth, man. <laughs> and, and 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 that pair with with you and Snoop, man, man, it's magical. Yeah. And oh, so I, when I when I heard the album, I sat there, man. I, I rolled up, smoked one. Okay. Heard the first track, <laughs> and, and was hooked from there, man. Thank you. You know. Thank you, man. So much. You 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 you're a great artist, brother. Thank you. Thank and, you. And, 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 man, I, I, I enjoy listening to you, bro. My man, Gray, man. You a super citizen, That's man. Right about it. Thank you, Gray. And the new, EP, yes, the new EP is called Technicolor. It's out right now. We're going to go to Indiana. We got my man, Curtis, on the line. Ah, yes. Big Kurt, Kurt, what we doing, baby? Hey. What up, Kurt? Hey, what's up, man? What I up? got I got Amy on FaceTime. I just want to give you your props, say congratulations. Thank and and all you. that. I wish I could have been at that show. Amy's on the other phone right now listening to this interview, her and Travis. Okay, okay. You know oh, y'all guy? know each so other? He's, so yeah. he's, with, he's with Travis, the one who really started me on Fruity Loops and everything. Oh, really? Yeah. Travis so, the one Travis, that okayed your name? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, no Neil was the one who okayed my name. Okay. Okay. Travis is the one that gave me his computer he went or put to me on crib. his computer to start Fruity Loops. He is the first one. Wow. That's Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, yeah. Yeah. Kurt, Travis. And he is. Put Trav on. He's listening to this interview right now. Right now. I want to just say that Jared is who he says he is. This this man, I met him when he was 17. <laughs> Nobody knew him, but he knew him. He was singing. Mm. He was fly. He was everything. He is the truth. And he's the first person i ever known that has actually blown up like that. And it's been really cool to watch, brother. Wow. God bless. Yeah. Curtis, are you crying? Curtis is I kind of, because I, I just can't <laughs> believe it. Nobody makes Where's it from Travis here at? like that. I'm so I'm so proud of him. That's love, man. Is Travis with you? Travis is on the other phone. He can hear you. Oh, okay, okay. okay. What up, Travis? What's up, Jared? That's oh, Amy. Is Travis there? There you go, Travis, Travis, right there. And why are you trying to sound hard, Travis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come what on, up? man. That ain't, that ain't even in your heart, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> man. All right, hey, Curtis, Travis, thanks for your call. Way in the morning. <laughs> uh, hey, they still in New York right now. They still there. All right. Hey, Curtis, thanks for your call. You're a super Curtis. citizen, man. We appreciate you. Yeah. What, with Curtis calling in um, October, I have this a question for you because I'm from a small town yeah. as well in Lansing, Michigan. Mm-hmm. I'm curious because everyone thinks that they have to move to the coast, either New York or LA, in order to make it, mm-hmm. right? But you made it being in Indiana. How did you make that connection to Jazzy Faye to get that opportunity um, to where you are today, sitting yeah. this way in the morning? Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of people don't know that I had quit music. I was done. Before before the whole Jazzy Faye thing, maybe, I don't know, probably a week prior or something like that, yeah. I had already, I had given up. I was like, man, forget it. I'm, a, I'm just, I was about to be, I was a week away from being a truck driver. I was already getting done with truck driving school. Wow. I, was, I, I was done. So I was about to go work, you know, do the whole, mm. you know, on the road trucking thing, all that kind of stuff. So, and God was like, nah, man, I, I told you, just sit still. And I'm, oh, I got to make money. I got to make money. I got to make money. And, you know, just to be, you know, regular citizen, do the nine to five thing, all that. And, uh, yeah, I end up 
getting that you know getting that connection to Jazzy. But how? Like a phone call? You go to yeah, yeah, yeah. A friend of you... mine, yeah, a friend of mine knew someone that knew him, mm. and then we had talked to her, and she automatically you know gave you know gave us a number like okay cool I heard his music I think Jazzy would like it, mm. and gave it to him and then or gave me the number and then I hit him up text him was like yo I got some records for you. You know, and then I just didn't know that he was going to see Snoop during that time, so it just worked out perfectly. Yeah, I was, you know, a couple of days from graduating truck driving school. Wow, crazy! My goodness, yeah. and then fate stepped in. Yeah. Fate stepped in, yeah. October, you spoke about how initially when you started writing, you said that you sucked, and mm -hmm. you immediately just like crumbled up the paper and tossed it. But yeah. obviously, your writing game improved, like insanely mm. talk about how that relationship changed and like what routine you put yourself on to improve those skills to yeah. sharpen them well that you know goes back to travis oh, travis is a huge hip-hop head he's huge you know he, i think he's one of the best lyricists that i know there's two people that i know that are the craziest lyricists is walter west which he'll meet at some point me and him got music out and then me and then travis so sitting around him how he wrote help me get better because mm. he's just he's just intricate with his with his word play and, and just how he thinks and then being around Walter West as well, being around them just made me better as as time went on. Um, and then listening to old school artists, like getting this feel for old school and doing this, I got it from Ronald Isley, I got mm -hmm. it from Teddy Pendergrass, I got it from Marvin Gaye, just listening to their runs and everything, but not trying to do too much to be just like them. Mm -hmm. right. But just enough to take that ooh and put it here and put a little that on it or this, and that's how that's how the old school vibe, that's how Rebirth was really made, because I freestyled Rebirth of Marvin. The Rebirth of Marvin, that that was a Billboard-topping project, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nine weeks on, on, on Billboard, yeah. You yeah. freestyled that album? I freestyled. Back to Your Place is a freestyle. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Off the top? Off the top, just going up to the mic. Oh, baby, I've been thinking about you. And then stepping back. Well, hold up. You know. Hold yeah. up, hold up. <laughs> 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 hold on one second. Right, uh, let's see how to do that now. All right, hold on, let me throw some names on a piece of okay. paper. You yeah. know, a little Tracy G, a little Heather B, a little yes. Mike Mills. Way in the morning. <laughs> yep. Uh, with Heather B. Uh huh. Okay, thank you, DB. DB came through with the Sharpie. Might as well add <laughs> DB's name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why he did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. with, with Heather B and Tracy Torch. G. It, while we while I'm doing this, we're gonna take a call. Uh, yeah. Kev is in Charlotte. Go ahead, Kev. <laughs> Big Kev. Yo, yo, what's up? What's up, everybody? Good morning. How y'all doing? What's up? What's Feeling what good. Up? Say what's up to October London. Cool. Word. What up? What up, October London? How you doing today, bro? Good, man. How you doing? Cool, cool. I also want to slide in happy birthday to Heather. I'm sorry, y'all. Yes. Um, hey, happy birthday. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio myself, so I had to make sure to do that. Yo, I just wanted to let you know, bro, I just got put on you within the past, I say, year or so. Mm -hmm. um, haven't really seen you visually out here, which is cool because you're not oversaturating people. You know what right, I mean? People right. hear you. And then they catch on, and then they fly with you. They're not, you know, eating every two seconds. I, I, you're not on every hook. You're not on all these TikTok videos. I appreciate your voice. Me being from Detroit, bro, I got down with the Motown. And when I heard your voice, it took me back to my childhood. So I appreciate your voice. Thank you. I appreciate you. You're not oversaturated yet. But, you know, <laughs> I'm sure yeah. people going to get on to you. And, and, and no, nah, no, nah, you know how it is. Once yeah. somebody hear you, it, it goes, and then it kind of, goes away but right. i appreciate you bro and I I, I I like how you came up and i want to continue seeing you you know what I'm saying thrive out here in the industry bro man thank you i appreciate that man that's great man you get yeah, a lot sir. of good props too and it's coming yeah. from men yeah. when i know you got a big female base yeah that uh, says but, a lot but when men are complimenting you singing about love yeah. mm -hmm. that's kind of solid you yeah. you're allowing us to be vulnerable yeah. right and yeah. we're loving it yeah thank you so thank when you. i sing you know I will wait for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I could good. do it. It feel good. It feels feel right, right, uh -huh. right, right. You're like, oh, fucking liberated. <laughs> yes, dog. I want to say that to somebody. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. October London is here, right? And so you also um, was one of the creators on an animation with Snoop, right? Yeah, yeah. Me, Snoop, and Claude uh, created Doggy Land. And wow. Doggy Land has been blowing up like crazy. Hell A lot yeah. of people don't know that I'm, I'm the co creator, I voiced the character Woofy. And I do the music. Damn. Damn. So, yeah. Wow. Multidimensional. Yeah. Let's get I'm all, it. I'm all over the place. Yeah, look, look at look at that, what I just wrote down. Are man. we doing some yeah. spot of the moment uh, creation, moment. some yeah. creativity? Yeah. Right? I think, yeah. I think, uh, uh, let them look over the world. Oh. 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 And make Great it, pick. That, that's uh -oh. all our names. Yeah. Yeah. Just talk about love and waking up yeah. every day with us and uh -huh. the different people. Go, Take your time with it. He got it. He got it. He freestyled that whole Rebirth of Marvin album. He should be able to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in the zone, yeah. We sway in the morning, yeah. Mm. With Heather B and Tracy G, yeah. I'm in with DB as the producer. I'm in with Torton as the producer. I'm in with Kalani as producer And the citizens in the audience, yeah You might be with Sway, but you kicking it with me, me, me I got my day one with me, and his name is Jamie, me, me Call him my manager, oh and call up Troy I hope I go number one again I'ma buy me some toys Oh yeah Say your name, hey. Hey. It's October London yeah. And don't forget <laughs> I'm sure in the morning would have to be a Trey Fiji Let's go, man yeah. Let's go one, we got another one One more I only have one cup of coffee So you know what I'm saying I have two I'm a, I have two. I'm going to have to go in. You that know what I'm saying? That was dope, man. That's incredible. Man, I appreciate it. We're going to play that every day. You know that's right. Thank Jesus. You. Yeah. Us. yeah, thank so you. So be, um, before I let you go, mm -hmm. um, the one of the things that I, I was perplexed mm -hmm. about, well, not even perplexed, uh, but uh, I noticed that when you, from your first album, Colorblind Love, mm -hmm. and then when you get, by the time you get to Crypto Writer, Mm -hmm. The dubstep house album. Mm -hmm. I've heard five different genres in, yeah. within four different projects. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Crypto Winter? Yeah, Crypto yeah. Winter was yeah. crazy. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. And I'm a house dude. I'm a deep rooted house guy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we go way back. Louis Vega remixed songs for me and King Tech back wow. in the day. That's how deep okay. we go. Deep okay. rooted. Don't play with me, I said. Don't, don't play. Don't said you play might know me, something, man. but you I, don't know everything. I know a little bit of something. Yeah. Uh, what, was your, what was your thought process? Because the music business is. You know, it's, it's it's boxed in a lot. It's very marginalized in terms of genres and columns. Mm -hmm. Everything is in columns. When mm -hmm. you went to used to go to record stores, it's this column, it's that column. Mm -hmm. Radio stations, a column. Yeah. Playlist, a column. Yeah. You know, and uh, but to step into every genre, what where, where was it hard to find roots with an audience? No, I think it it was actually pretty uh pretty surprising that people liked the other genres I was putting out. Cause okay. first, you know, the, you know, you do big label stuff and all that. You know, the labels are like, no, nah, you you do this genre and you do this until you die, or you do this genre. We don't want to switch it up. We don't want to do this. And that's why I love being with with Death Row mm -hmm. and being with Larry Jackson at Gamma mm -hmm. because they're allowing me to be creative and have that creative control. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, and like I said, Snoop loves it. He's like, yeah, let's do do country, do pop, let's do it all. Let me just hear it. And I do it. And he's just like, oh man, how are we gonna put this out? And we we'll figure it out. But um, I kind of treat music like. I don't know if I should put it like this, but I kind of treat music like rental cars. I want to okay. keep switching out of them, switching up. So I don't want to get too bored with something. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give you one more of these rebirths that uh -huh. I'm working on right now. I'm in the studio working on it right now. Which artist? Uh, Can you say? No, it's it's. I got some. I got some Rick James elements. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got a little bit more Ronald Isley in it. Okay. It's got some Marvin in it, of course. It's going to have that. I think the I think the intro is a lot a lot of Marvin in it. Um, I'm working on it though now, but. You know, after I do that, I'm gonna switch it up. Like I do country, I do uh -huh. pop, I do reggaeton, I do all that, and I'm producing it. All these, these are I'm producing it, I'm mixing it, I'm mastering it, mm. I'm writing it. I got a couple writers, which is you know, a couple of my day ones, which are you know at the hotel right now. Like, you know, they'll write a couple, you know, with me, and that's it. But that's I, don't, it. I don't do too much. Uh -huh. Like, and I like to be in the studio by myself. Just let me get it done. I don't need to be in the studio for four hours, ten hours working on one record. Like, I knock out records really quick. Have you met Tank and Damn. these guys? I have met Tank. Me and Tank uh, are actually working on a record right now. <laughs> Tank is working on Jay Valentine. You do mm -hmm. you do you do R and B mm -hmm. Money podcast yet? I I haven't. They need to get you up there. Yeah. 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 Uh mm -hmm. this is amazing. You worked with Faith Evans before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. so, I think me and her did a song called You Bring Me Up on the Colorblind. On the Colorblind uh, Project, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. What does colorblind mean? Uh it's just being colorblind to haters or criticism or you know. Okay. Even, even you know, getting in people's love lives where this person wants to date this person or whatnot, whether same, whatever. Just do you. Just be happy. Mm -hmm. That's it. 
you know treat life like how i'm treating music just be happy with hey if i get bored with doing this i'm gonna go do something else i'm just just be happy you only get one life like every day is gonna have to be drama filled like you know so you know we should work with jimmy jam and terry lewis i'm getting like morris day from mm. from like his creativity mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm thinking he should do like some new jack swing ish yeah. you know what i mean yeah. like uh, bring that back i'm down yeah <laughs> i'm down it take me a week to do it i said let's you know I only no, did I Rebirth of Martin was done in a week. Yeah. You single? I am. Oh man. Guard your daughters, yo. <laughs> Guard I don't your know daughter. what this is. <laughs> but I can tell you focused on business though. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh yeah, you know how I'm sorry. Okay, I, hey, look, I, hey, well, hey, you know, women have has always been a, a problem. Is that kryptonite? Oh god. Well, how can you make it not a problem? Women should be I'm a not blessing. A problem. It's a asset. blessing, but it's yeah. just like, you know, in New York, New York has some beautiful, beautiful women. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like oh, great sorry. inspiration yeah. for music, though. It is, though. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I live I'm in like, Harlem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So what's your relationship status, what? I'm single. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, I get it. Yes, I get you want to hang out, bro? We yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's kill them in these streets. Let's go. I'll get us in the club, and then you do the rest. Let's, I, I, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Let's get it. So Let's much get utility. It. All right. Hey, October London, man. It's an absolute pleasure to have yeah. you on the thank show, you, man. Thank you Congratulations. So much. Man. I appreciate you. You man. got thank a solid you. ass so team. Thank you so much. Thank you. I expect to see great things. I can't wait to come to the concert. The EP is called Technicolor. If you loved it, what you heard today, man, go make sure you stream or download that EP, Technicolor. Yes. Yep. Technicolor meaning. I just was, man, I was in the zone. Yeah, okay. I was in the zone. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm like, mm -hmm. I was like, Technicolor. And it just worked. And it worked. I was like, cool. Snoop was like, hold on, let me put my stuff on there too. Yeah. So <laughs> Snoop like, all, all over this too. He is, man. He's having a good time. He is. He really is. Yeah. 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 Man, send my love to Snoop. That's our family, man. This is October London. Uh, thank you for coming through. Let's play I Will Wait For You yes. on oh. the way out. Y'all want to reach him, hit him up on social media yep. at? At October the King on Instagram. <laughs>